G'day guys, I thought I'd do a quick run through today of our campfire cooking equipment and we'll start off first with the fire pit. Now we choose to use the fire pit, a lot of people don't, you don't have to, um, but we, we do use it most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. So the fire pit we're using is a Snow Peak fire pit and it's the large one. Now we bought this fire pit probably four or five years ago, it was before any of the others were out, you can just multiple uh, brands you can buy now so we're using the snow peak extra large one but we are running the drifter stockton grill net on the top so we, we chose to go with this one because it's a lot easier to clean because the bars go straight backwards and forwards whereas the snow peak one is more of a mesh so that's why we went for that one uh, we're able to buy that separately from Drifter. Another thing we've been running lately is the half mesh. This is from Drifter Stockton as well. So that, that sits in there and it only takes up half the space. So you can sort of still have a fire on the on the side and you're able to just have your billy or a fry pan on, on this side, which this has been really handy actually. So moving on now, behind the fire pit, we've been using the Oz Barrier windshield. So the, this windshield is a four millimeter aluminium four panel windshield. Not sure on the dimensions. I think it's about 700, 750 high. Yeah, so some of the benefits with the windshield obviously is to um, keep the wind away. But Natasha and I have been finding in the cooler months, it actually reflects a lot of the heat. So with just the two of us, or even four of us at camp, have the windshield like we have it now, and you put your chair here and you can really feel the heat much more from the fire. And one of the other benefits too we've been finding is we use a lot less wood with the windshield up. This billy we've been using on the fire, it's, it's our dedicated fire one. We have a nice one for inside in the camper, but this one we purely use on the fire. I mean, we can take it inside and use it of course, but it's a zebra billy and stainless steel of course, and it's been really good. Sits in the car, in the drawers, so when I pack it in the drawers, one other good thing is that it actually can fit my jet boil large canister inside it. So that saves on space. So that sits in the drawer and then the jet boil canister in it. And that works really well. But this, this billy has been great. We even um, boil pasta in it and cook food in it. Plus, you know, obviously boil water. Sometimes I use a tripod on the fire for the billy. And this is the tripod I've been using. It's actually quite an old tripod. I made this as an apprentice, so it's got to be 30 years old, but you can adjust the height just simply by doing this. And it also folds up fairly flat like that. So pretty basic. It's been in the garage. We sort of drag it around with us everywhere and definitely lasted. So been to the Cape York a couple of times, this one. So it's pretty handy. I like it too, because I made it. Our frying pan that we've been using, um, this is a cast iron one by Campfire. I'm not sure of the dimensions, maybe 300 mil, I'm not sure, I'll put it down the bottom there. But it's quite good this one, it's got a fairly deep side in it, in it. can cook a lot of food in this. Um, it's great for putting on the fire and that I just keep that in the car as well. You know, I've got a canvas bag that it sort of half fits in, uh, which is really good. And these things are great, like so, e so easy to keep clean and not, you know, you look after them, you have these forever. Also, with that um, frying pan, we just found out the other day that the, the lid from the camp oven fits on it. So if we ever want a lid, we've got a lid for it, which is really handy. So this is our camp oven. Not sure of the size. I think it's what they call a nine quart or something like that. But we've had it for forever, long time. Like, I don't know, long time since we've been camping. So in the camp oven, we have a couple of trivets. I'm not sure why we have a couple, but yeah, that one sits a bit higher than the other one. And a couple of these tins, if we're doing a damper or something like that, we'll do the damper in the cake tin and put that inside the camp oven like that. Or the scones, this one, we normally do the scones in the bigger one, sit them in this pan, that sits in the camp oven. And then you're not gonna, not as likely to burn your scones or your damper because it's off the bottom because of the trivet. It's also off the sides because oh, it's in that tin. 
and it's easy to get them in and out. You just lift that tin in and out. So camp oven, very versatile for cooking, um, especially in winter. Like we've been cooking stews, roasts, heaps of stuff in this. It just gets used and like I said, it's been used heaps. And of course, with the camp oven, you'll need a lifter. Um, you've got to have one of these. It's pretty handy. You can lift the camper up by the handle and it's also designed to lift the lid off like that. That's a handy thing to have. So sometimes in the fire pit and also with the camp oven, we might be using uh, either some lump charcoal or some heat beads. And to light the charcoal or the heat beads, we've been using the uh, Uniflame charcoal starter. So it simply folds flat and you just open it out and that's it there. Charcoal goes in the bottom, couple of fire starters underneath and you can light your heat beads or your charcoal. This is much easier to do it this way. Um, this one's a bit buckled and twisted. I have been lazy a few times and just sit it on the fire to get the charcoal or the heat beads going. So that's my bad. Um, but you know, uni flame, it's been pretty good. Lots of other, like once, once again, when we bought this, there wasn't many that sort of folded flat like this to take camping, but there's a few different brands around now that, that are like that. And that's just in that little um, felt bag by Drifter and that sits in my drawer nice and neat. Another thing we've been using is uh, Jaffa line uh, in winter. It's pretty nice to cook yourself a toasty for lunch or even breakfast. So we've been using this one. It's uh, by Campfire Australia. I think we bought it at BCF or something like that. This is the larger one because you can fit a whole slice of bread in there. It doesn't hang out the side. You can fit your whole sandwich in there. Uh, most of them are a little bit smaller and and you, you, your crust hangs out, which just doesn't matter. That's a traditional way to do it anyhow. Yeah, so this is the bag that the, I keep my that frying pan in and it just sits in my drawer. See, it's not quite a just the handle doesn't fit, but that'll do. So that that frying pan sits in my drawer of the car with the starter, they're both in bags. Keeps all the mess inside the bag. Not that they're that messy, but just keeps it all neat and tidy. So one other important thing for any sort of um, camping and cooking on any sort of fire is some gloves. We've got just some basic welding gloves. Um, these are really handy. One of the benefits of the fire pit is if you're not happy with where the fire is, you can just pick it up and move it. So, but you'll need a good set of welding gloves for that. Um, these are handy just for light work and just work around camp as well with wood and stuff. You can lift the billy off with these. Depends how hot the billy is. Um, I find you're better off just using the welding gloves with the billy because yeah, it can get a bit hot with them. Same thing with the camp oven, we've got a bit of a bag for the camp oven. Um, we normally stash that in the camper trailer. So it sits in the back of the camper trailer and if, we are, if I am going to go camping myself with the car and not the camper and I need the camp oven, I'll just pull it out, put, pack it in the car. But that has a spot in the camper trailer. With the fire pit, we ended up ditching the snow peak bag that it come with. It just wasn't really that good actually. Um, this bag's by Undercover Australia. It's got some nice handles and the, the fire pit's fully inside it, whereas the snow peak one, it's half in with some straps over it. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's quite a good bag, this one. Fits everything inside it. Now, same with the Oz Barrier. It has its own bag as well. It sits all in this bag and packs nice and flat and that stacks in the front of the camper trailer with the fire pit, nice and flat. It's handy to keep it in there. Because sometimes these things can get a bit dirty as well. So it's all good, everything's all in those bags. Stacks nice and flat. So for the windshield, I just bought uh, this packet of hooks from Bunnings and I'm just been sitting my, the grill and the frying pan, just hang them off the windshield just to keep it all neat and tidy around the campfire and everything's ready to use when you need it. Yeah, so that's all the stuff we use for cooking on the fire around camp. I'm not saying it's the be all and end all. You, this is the, you have to have this, but this is just what we use. You can probably have a lot more gear or a, definitely a lot less, but let me, 
let me know in the comments what you've got. Yeah, thanks for watching.